So voice mod voice changer. Is it a virus? Is it a Bitcoin miner? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. I'm going to scan the file. I'm going to open the file and just give you my thoughts on voice mod. So to download voice mod, you need to go to voicemod.net. That's their official website. So I'm going to download voice mod for free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the file. So here is the exe file for voice mod. So right off the bat here, let's take a look at the voice mod setup file. So we can right click and we can go to properties and you can just see that it's a 71 megabyte file. It's a general setup file, which is a general installation wizard. And if we go and right click this, I'm going to then scan it with AVG and it quickly and real quickly tells me that there's no malware found and that it's a safe file. So I'm now going to install voice mod and we'll just take a look at what it looks like and just see if anything dodgy happens when we install it. So when we install voice mod, it's a very standard installation wizard. We select the language, we click OK, and it takes us through a nice and easy process to install. We just choose where we want to install it to. If we want a shortcut and we click install, there's no adware, no malware or no bloatware attached to the voice mod setup. Once it's installed, it's going to ask you to restart the computer. I'm going to click no. I'm going to finish and now we can open up voice mod. Again, it is a very standard app. There's nothing that screams virus about this app. A lot of people use it to change their voice and it's one of the most popular voice changers out there and one of the best looking voice changers, to be honest. So here is the voice mod interface. It first gets you to select your default microphone and your headphones. Then you can click continue if you can hear yourself and then click all done. So voice mod used to give you access to a lot of voices free forever, but now they work on a basis of they use like the time to countdown. So you've only got two hours to use these and then you have to either unlock more or buy the pro version. So it's a very clean, easy to use voice changer in my opinion. Now, some people do say they have issues with the audio and their microphone after downloading voice mod and even Clownfish as well. Now, if you have issues, what I would recommend is just go and reset your computer completely if you haven't already done that. And then after you've done that, if you've still got issues for some reason, and if you still think voice mod is a virus, you can completely uninstall it by clicking the X and then just making sure that it's closed in your taskbar here. So right click on it, then click exit and then click done. And then if you just go to your control panel here, then click uninstall a program, just click on any and then click V on your keyboard. We'll then take you to voice mod. You can then uninstall it, click yes, click yes again. And then voice mod has been uninstalled. Your audio should then work as it did before you downloaded voice mod.